Welcome everybody to the final week of January. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 studios in downtown Memphis, Tennessee with our online video environmental ecology taking care of the planet in general video blog for you. This is the latest edition of News Channel 3's Your Environment, taking a look at what's going on not only around the Mid-South area, but also in many other locations and how weather and climate around the rest of the world affects us right back here in the Mid-South area. More information about what you can do to help out with things conservation related and also again paying attention to how you use natural resources. We talk about all that type of stuff on here. More importantly, we'd love to get you involved in this. So if you've got any stories out there that you know about that would fit in well to this blog, any events going on, recycling efforts, conservation and ecology, we would love to know about that. More importantly, we would love to tell everybody else watching this video blog about where they can find that information. So if you have anything going on, email address down here at the bottom of the screen. And again, you can contact me on also on all these social media places as well so please if you got anything out there we would love to know more about what's going on so please stay in contact with us and keep it tuned to wreg.com for more information and again please email me if you know anything about anything going on out there coming up in just a little bit we're going to take a look at what's going on again a lot of activity happening in the near future uh, where it comes to cleanup efforts and ecology and research and things like that you can find out about online even though it's going to be pretty cold this week you're going to be indoors, probably on the computer a lot. A lot of stuff you can learn and a lot of stuff you, stuff you can plan to participate in as we get into the early portions of spring, late winter into that area. We'll bring you more details on that coming up here in just a little bit. We'll count down to Earth Hour now just about two months away. What is that and what does it matter? We'll show you more about that coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more on that. We'll also take a look at the stats about how your clicks on just a big green button online are helping to save rainforest space, and that is critically important if all of us want to keep breathing. So if you'd like to know more about the rainforest site, we'll have more details on that coming up here in just a little bit. More on conservation and research from the Memphis Zoo and how you can get your kids involved in things like science and technology from a local conservation area as part of the city of Memphis museum system. So stay tuned for more on that coming up here in just a little bit. Unfortunately, over the last couple of weeks, the government shutdown has done a pretty good job of backing up a lot of problems in the national parks, including cleanup, security, natural studies, research, all kinds of things like that from the National Parks Conservation Association at npca.org. More information about what the government shutdown has done to not only the rangers and all the people who take care of the parks, uh, it's again showing a pretty good listing of things that have gone on and things that have not gone quite so right. We've had again trespassing, we've had damage, we've had trash stacking up, we've had of course the main thing about you and me as taxpaying citizens not being able to get into the parks and a lot of places cleaning up on their own, but there's still a lot of work to be done and work that has now been set back weeks, if not months, by the government shutdown. And if the shutdown again continues, if it comes back into play in about two to three weeks' time, if the Congress and the President cannot agree, then we may see even more problems coming our direction. But what can you do? That's the main thing to think about. And here's a great listing from NPCA to find out about what you can actually do to help the parks and the staff to find out more, including about being more vocal, volunteering to clean up at the parks if at all possible, if you're nearby one, donating to local aid organizations like NPCA, uh, other places that again will help to clean up the parks, that your time and your funds will help out on that, and also more information on that to be very vocal on social media to make certain that the parks are taken care of because they are a national treasure and something to think about and including visiting and promoting your visit to a state park and you can find out more or a national park as well. Uh, more information online, you can follow the hashtag opt outside or find your park on Twitter and many other locations to take a look at there. Echo Watch, a good place to take a look at a good roundup of information from echowatch.com, including information about what has been going on at not just the National Park Service, but at conservancy places like the Smithsonian Institution and a lot of other places that are very highly involved in research in regards to natural 
resources and also again when it comes to things like cleaning up the environment. Good listing of information there. National Geographic also has some good information at nationalgeographic.com about what's been going on including the impacts of the government shutdown and numerous ones on that one. Vox.com a extensive list about what has been happening during the government shutdown or in this case more importantly what has not been happening when it comes to environmental science, when it comes to things like impact on Native American tribes and nations, agriculture, research, weather forecasting, all that is, again, some very large costs are not being tallied just yet, and we're not going to know about these things for several more weeks or months to come. And again, that is, it, that is considering if the government shutdown does not come back around again. So something to think about there. Also, again, something to take a look at is the weather forecast going on. There should be a conference happening at this time to help train and research information when it comes to hurricanes. Well, a lot of questions are being raised about the accuracy of those forecasts, and some of that is being raised by places like the Bulletin for the Atomic Scientists. Now, again, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand a lot of what's being shown here, but a lot of good information on these pages to find out details about what is going on and to help you understand what's happening with the environment. And unfortunately, it looks like things are not going to be, again, improving for a while to come. If, again, if the government stays open past the middle of February, we are approaching hurricane season and the forecasts need to be updated. Research personnel and meteorologists need to be trained and that cannot happen during a government shutdown. So there's a lot going on that needs to be examined in detail and we need to get the situation resolved to make certain that we are able to make certain that we stay as safe as possible. If you'd like to know more about what's going on with this, including the warming of our oceans through the atmosphere, you can find out more at the Bulletin. Dot org, or you can visit them on Twitter at twitter.com slash bulletin atomic. Great place to go to for stories about science and making certain that the environment and our planet is cared for. The doomsday clock was remained at two minutes to midnight. You can find out more about what that looks like as well. Chickasaw Group of the Sierra Club holding a lot of different meetings coming up in the near future, including a meeting coming up on Monday the 28th about frogs and snakes and how they relate to conservation. That'll be held at their monthly meeting coming up, and that'll be at 3224 Navajo Drive. If you'd like to know more, again, you can find out more at sierraclub.org slash events and also searching Chickasaw Club as well. You can find out more from the Wolf River Conservancy about what they're doing to preserve stuff along the Wolf River, including the members paddle, the cleanup areas, the tree plantings, and meetings to discuss a lot more about what you can do locally when it comes to things like conservation. So a good opportunity to know more there. From Lichterman Nature Center, Science and Technology, a STEM camp coming up here in March. That's available at memphismuseums.org if you'd like to find out more. And conservation initiatives. What's going on at the Memphis Zoo? Not just taking the kids out for a great day at the park, but a good opportunity to learn more about what is out there. The Rainforest site, all you have to do is just click on this big green button here and a good opportunity to learn more about conservation on this. Again, all you do is click on this button. All you do is view a few ads and those ads start to add up because the sponsors, once they see you viewed that, will count the clicks and will pay for Rainforest site to be set aside that will not be developed. Again, the rainforests are the lungs of our planet, so this is a good opportunity. And just this month, so far this year, 668 acres have been saved, and that's very good news. Earth Hour is coming in about two months. If you'd like to know more about what you can do to save energy, it's a great opportunity to do it. Saturday, March 30th, 2019, a good evening to develop good habits and make certain you tune in because we'll be doing a lot more when it comes to things here at News Channel 3, keeping track of our energy and more importantly, conserving so we can help you understand more about how you can save energy at your home, your business, your place of worship. Great opportunity to learn more. That'll wrap it up for this edition of our environmental ecological blog, Your Environment. Environment. Thank you very much for joining us. And once again, if you have any suggestions about events in the Mid-South or articles you'd like to see us cover, please make certain you email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. Thanks for joining us and another edition of Your Environment coming up as we head into February.